the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NMPP, Rabi Kwakwansu, has accused the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, under the chairmanship of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, of fraudulently allocating votes to Bola Tinumbu. Kwakwansu alleged that the Electoral Commission allocated votes to Tinumbu, the candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, in the February 25 presidential election. The electoral umpire declared Tinumbu a former governor of Lagos State, the winner of the presidential election after polling a total of about 8 million to defeat his closest contendant, contendant Atiku Abubakar of PDP and Peter B of Labour Party. Kwakwanso who pulled a total number of 1.4 million votes in the presidential election in the um, election to come forth in an interview with BBC Hausa Service, as monitored by Daily Post, said Nigerians no longer like the ruling APC. He said the NMPP has a bright future because big politicians are interested in the party. Kwakwansu further said another interesting thing is that more people, particularly big politicians, are seriously indicating interest in our party and they are willing to make necessary contributions to move the party forward. Take a look at our rivals, particularly the PDP. They are in a serious crisis, particularly as it concerns its leaders. In Kano State, some thought PDP would be of help to them or the game changer, but they were disappointed woefully. Same with the APC. All these votes you see INEC mentioned were fraudulently allocated to its presidential candidates. But Latinumbu, the truth is that Nigerians don't like APC anymore. Hence, our party is the one that has the future. He added, okay. This is what everybody has been saying. You know, nobody ever believed that uh, Kwakwansu, we never joined APC or PDP because we thought, oh, he, he was working for them. That, oh, maybe three days to or two days to even... 24 hours to, I was like, ah, are you sure this man is not going to say this in all? When it got to some hours, I will know that, you know, this man serious. Three weeks to a month to, he will decamp, he will step down. But for where? Oh, dear, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Some people are mocking him that, ah, of course, what people predicted happened. But it didn't happen for Peter B because people said, oh, Peter B will not be able to win one state. Ah, he, he, okay, maybe if I thought, maybe one or two states, if I thought, I say, but... You don't go feel win, forget it. Even some local governments, you don't go feel win. But they were shocked to their bone marrow. Will be won in FCT. Do you know that is the seat of power? Seat of power. You should know the timber and caliber of people that will be there. He won there. Now they said uh, this man is going, is only Kano. And meanwhile, and truly, it was only in Kano that he had a vote. It was even uh, this stand fourth, fourth position. Where? The worst election ever had in this country after promising heaven and earth for Nigerians, but very unfortunate on this 21st century. Please, whoever that is in charge of sound should help increase the volume. Those from southwest and some parts of the north cannot hear very well. <laughs> ah, all of them now, they are accusing him now. Said nonsense. MPP is not majority party in Nigeria. They can't talk about winner okay but he's saying the truth but it becomes it comes forth if not for rigging labor party apc nmpp and pdp would have occupied first second third and fourth position respectively we know that yoruba and apc supporters will never accept that the election was rigged they know the truth but because of sentiment they believe that the election was free and fair please fear god do one day everything go end here Shots, begging demands, people that don't like saying the truth. What do you mean? And he can't even speak his mind because he won only one state. Oh, I guess you are APC. He didn't have evidence. Uh, it's just a, what I say, no evidence. <laughs> Violence. Is it about the party or the candidate? Well, the worst election ever had in this country. Uh, Kwakwanso is only making noise. Nigeria know his stronghold, which is Kano. I am surprised. So, his vote is allocated to Tinumbu. I beg, he should allow us to have peace 
and go and sit down if he doesn't know how to contribute positively to move the country forward you can imagine now mm -hmm. he really tried at least he won canoe some people cannot even win their home talk less of his state in presidency and governorship okay never mind kwakwasu is trying to use election grant to score cheap political points because he chase himself out of the party apc thinking it was sinubu that caused it okay why do you hate truth because he said the election the votes were allocated to tinumbu and it was like that everywhere everywhere you will see it i just pity for some of the yorubas or apc supporters that see suffering no the old world saw what happened you are coming out to tell us nonsense somebody who has been fraudulent in everything that he, he owns everything is shrouded in secrecy i used to think that kakwanso was working for tinubu but i was wrong tinubu was never nigerian's choice he shall never be well with Einek chairman okay oh, this is coming from me somebody from southwest we know sir god will judge him and Einek chairman his children rights will also be taken away for a way one day Kwakwansu's ability to control his in-law being the elected governor has now given him an open check to use the treasury of Kano State to advance his presidential ambition for 2027 election okay oh, we don't hear so now only listen <laughs> mm, all of them that that miss yan in this uh, period this 2027 election eh, they don't keep all their this you know, for cooler for them they don't keep her for cooler. Somebody says he's disappointed that uh, Kokwansu didn't support Etinumbu. To the best of your knowledge, who won the election? I will be so glad to hear back from you. Well, nobody voted for Tinumbu. is incompetent, sick and old, not capable and fit to be Nigeria president. APC and INEC are just forcing him on Nigerians, which will never go well with this country. Now, be. Make now allow people uh, to talk now. Nah. See, everybody don't talk now. Nah. Uh -huh. Now only will be you. Okay. Kokwansu will talk now. Only will be you. Now nah, it is pass because, of course, now nah, he's, he's, he's a force to reckon with. He's a force, strong force at that to reckon with. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.